Hi there, once again, welcome back to my channel. I'm so much delighted to have you back on Adiotech. Consider subscribing if today is your first time. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. For the while, I've paused on programming on my channel, but I just want to resume programming and then teaching you introduction to program the basis right here on my channel. So consider subscribing if it's something you have interest in, learning the task of programming and then also knowing how to develop your own applications and stuff. I'm resuming that series, okay? So subscribe for more. So today I just want to talk briefly about functions in Python. What are functions and what do you do with functions? Functions are briefly a series of instructions or a block of code that perform a task, okay? So you want to press a button to do something short, something simple for you. You may want to organize those things into a function. We have inbuilt functions. Let's say, for instance, I want to type my name. So let's say this is my name. Remember, if it's a string, you put that into quotes. So this is my name. If I want to find the length of my name, how do I go about it? So you will need a function to do that. So as you know, we need to actually create a variable. So the name over here is a variable that holds this particular name. Okay. So name is a variable and then assign. So once you use one equal to, it's called assignment. So we have the assignment to create that. So once I've assigned this and I want to find the length, we have inbuilt function like length e l e n to find the length of this. So I can go ahead and say print into bracket, then I'll use this, and then I'll just put the name over there. So remember this name, this name is holding this particular content, the name Timothy. So if I want to find the length of my name, I can just do something like this and I run this. And you can see this giving me what seven. So basically, it's telling me that the length of this name is what? Seven. That is what functions does. So you write a block of code after perform a specific task. So I use this simple word. That's E-L-N. L-E-N, which is, which stands for length. I want to find the length of my name. I use that. So if I should go ahead and update my name. And I go ahead to run this function. It's going to update it. So you can see now it's 17. So basically, this is what functions done. They are a block of code that perform a specific task. So I'm going to talk briefly how to create your own function. So the word print itself is a function. We have things like round. And then mostly you see function ending with what? Open and then closing bracket like this. So this is how you mostly see most of the functions. So I just want to talk briefly about functions in this tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe because we'll be doing a lot of coding and then a lot of application development. Okay. So in Python, if you want to create a function, use the word DEF, which, you, which means you are defining the function. And every function is supposed to have a name. Okay. So let's say I want to type a function that will greet you anytime you visit a platform. Okay. You need to just call the function by its name. So the name you give to that function should actually represent the function. So this is it. You need to bring open and a closing bracket. And this function may hold what arguments. Okay. And I will explain the difference between arguments and a parameter very soon. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this function. And everything needs to end with a colon. So this is my first function. This is my first function is not going to take what any argument for now. So I'm going to go ahead and then put in something. Let me say print. So let's say this function is trying to welcome you and say, hello. So when you run this, you will not see anything. The reason is that anytime you create a function, you need to call that function by its name. If I come down here and then I call great, make sure you bring the open and closing bracket. If I go ahead and run this function, you can see now it's saying hello. So you can call a function by its name. So the name used for that function, you call that name. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this function. We can do a bit of modification and some do a lot of advancement to this. It saves you a lot of coding. You don't have to write so much code to achieve a result. When you organize everything into the function, this will basically help you a lot. So let's see what is going to happen if I decide to go ahead and then put in a value into this. So before that, we have different types of function. We have function that carries a text or that calculates a value. Okay. A value and then return it. I will just talk briefly about this, but you, most of the times you may create a function and you have something like this. 
you assign a value over there we have what we call parameter parameters actually are values that you enter when you call the functions but when we talk about arguments arguments are input that you define for a function so the name i've provided over is actually an argument okay so i've defined this input for this function so this becomes what an argument but if i call this function because i said name i can go ahead and then bring a plus which we call concatenate so i just go ahead and say name i just want to add this so once i call this function i can go ahead and then put my name there so look at this if i call this function you can see when i give an argument to this function anytime you give an argument make sure that you call once you call the function you provide a parameter so the parameter is actually the value you provided for a function after you called it but when it comes here it is kind of what an argument the input you define for that so i went ahead and called this function but remember to give a space over here in order to get a better printout okay so you can see saying hello timothy so these are basically functions how functions work so if i go ahead and then copy if i copy this function and then i paste it down and i put in another name and i run this you can see what is happening hello sec so i just created a simple function that greets people and then call them hello your name so anywhere I want to use this simple function, I'll just call it by name and then it's going to go ahead and do that. I don't need to come ahead and then write a whole this thing. So you can go ahead and even give comma and then so with this function, you can go ahead and add a second what argument just by bringing comma. So I can introduce a comma and then add a second argument. So in this case, my printout, I can update that by saying plus so that's concatenate if you want to add another thing you want to append two things together use the plus key you use the plus in python okay and php use the dots so i just want to add the h so i go ahead and add h this way and i try running this i'm going to get error because the h is an integer and all these are strings so trying to add this to trying to add h to this is going to give me an error so one of the best way to do is to try to convert what the h into what a string so you can use you can go ahead and use str like this so str is also a function which converts an integer into a string so if i do something like this and i run this code i still going to get error because once you specify this particular argument when you call the function you need to provide you need to, once you specify an argument and you call that function you need to provide a, a value for that that's the parameter so in this case i need to go ahead and then enter the age so remember this is an integer it's not supposed to be in quotes if i run i will still get what error because the second one i need to provide a value for that that's the argument so if, if i go ahead to run this it's going to work perfectly so you can see but in this case make sure you give some space so that it will not merge like this so i think one thing i need to do for this to work perfectly is to say that hello timothy your age is so we can say here i can put into quote like this your age is so let's run this and see if we get something better okay so this should be a plus here because we are trying to merge this so just introduce a plus because we want to append this and run this and you can see everything is working now and we need to actually give a space over here to get a neat result so you hello timothy your age is 26 hello set your age is this so this is basically a function we've created and we can make this do very complex and write a lot of lines of code and put everything into what a simple function so once you call that function it's going to perform that result for you i'll show you more into details once i've started my coding lesson on this channel there's a lot going to come up we'll learn together and then we'll try to create some amazing stuff so this is just introduction and how to use what functions in python okay i'm using the jupyter notebook and if you want something you can let me know at the comment section and let's learn together and let's master how to code i'm getting addicted to coding and for a while that i've not been doing this i feel a bit lazy and 
I would like to create more videos on programming. So subscribe and like this video, share with friends so that we do something together. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.